Do you want more control over what times certain devices can connect to the internet? Maybe you want certain devices to disconnect, say, 7 o'clock at night, while you can continue to watch Netflix downstairs. Well, in this video, I'll talk you through exactly what steps you need to do to set that up. So the first thing we need to do is go to the Fritzbox main interface and we can do this by going to 192.168.178 in your browser of choice and log in using the Fritzbox password you'll find on the underside of the router. Once you have done this, you'll be greeted with the main Fritzbox interface. You want to go to the menu on the left hand side and select internet and then you're going to want to select filters from the drop down menu. Now in this new screen you want to click on access profiles and you'll be greeted with the default profiles that come with the router. Now we want to create our own profile. So click new access profile. And here we need to give our profile a name. So for example, kids Wi-Fi. Once you have named your profile, you then need to set the limits that the profile will have access to the internet. So you have the options of always, never, or restricted. So for this example, I don't want devices connected to this profile to be able to access the internet outside the hours of seven o'clock till eight o'clock. So by using this eraser tool, I can simply drag down and remove the times that I don't want this profile to have access to the internet. However, if I want these devices to have access to the internet for the duration of the weekend, all I need to do is click on the blue pen and I can color back in Friday night and Saturday night. And I do that like so. And what we can see now is the internet connection will start at Friday morning and it will finish at Sunday night. If you don't want to set up a time schedule, what you can do is set up a time budget. And to do this, tick always connected under period and on the right hand side, tick restricted. And now we can budget the amount of Wi Fi time that devices connected to this profile have each day. So for example, eight hours a day. If the users of this profile have multiple devices, it might be a good idea to tick shared budget as that will be eight hours between all devices as opposed to eight hours per device. If you use the guest Wi-Fi, it might be a good idea to block that from this profile as well as that could be another way of getting around these time limits or usage blocks. An additional filter that you can add to your profile is to filter for web pages. Now what that means is by ticking this box, this profile will not be able to access any websites that you've entered into your block list. Now by default, there are no websites in this list, so you would need to enter these manually. Once you're happy, click OK, and this will bring you back to the access profile screen. And here we can see kids Wi-Fi profile has been created. Click on the pen icon to add devices and scroll to the bottom of the page. And now we can see the list of devices on the network. Tick the devices you want to apply the profile to. And as soon as you click OK, these devices will be restricted by the times that you have set above. If you ever want to remove these devices, simply repeat these steps and untick them and then click OK. And all restrictions that you have applied will then be lifted. But what happens if someone using this profile needs a little bit extra time? whether it's for homework or whether it's for just as a reward. Well, the Fritzbox has thought of that and you have this ticket system here. Now, this series of tickets is a series of numbers that you can simply give out to a user and it will give them an extra 45 minutes of time. Now, it's a great little thing to have. Once you have used all these tickets, you simply log back into the Fritzbox and click on this button here and this will reset the ticket list and then you have a new set of tickets that you can give out for an additional 45 minutes of time. Now this is great because it means you don't have to log into the router and adjust the restrictions every time that a user requires just a little bit more Wi-Fi access. And that's it. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, do please click on that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, do please click on that subscribe button. But until next time, thank you very much.